Seriously, mate, uh, no worries. I appreciate the questions. You wanted to know what it was like being on Grey's Anatomy and what was my favorite storyline and scenes to do and character to work with. Honestly, dude, my favorite storyline and scenes to shoot were at the very end of the show when Riggs goes off with Megan. Is that how you say it in America? Megan? Megan? Uh, Megan? To the beach. And we have those scenes where we're in this house and Riggs is going to renovate it for her and they're going to live happily ever after and they're on the beach playing. and Because uh, that was right down the street from my house at the time. So I literally got out of bed, I drove, I don't know, one mile, if that, to work. I should have walked, but it was very early. So that was my favorite. Um, honestly, it was just awesome. But I I really liked the surgery stuff. I gotta say, I'd never really played a surgeon or anything like that. So I loved doing all that stuff. And there was a scene with Riggs and Hunt where they had to do this sort of ballet dual tag team operation. And I remember having to learn all of the, the, the instruments and, and how to connect things. And, and uh, I found that interesting. I really liked, too, they, uh, they were kind enough to let me go into some surgeries uh, at a hospital in Los Angeles and, and actually watch open heart surgery, uh, which was gruesome and brutal, but just fascinating. Um, and it was really helpful to watch surgeons perform that kind of stuff. Uh, in real life and, and try to try to bring some of that authenticity into the role so yeah uh, and as for um, home and away um, man you're testing my memory dude that was like 20 24 years ago at least um, so I know you're you got to be old like me bro because uh, yeah, it was a while ago uh, I remember where, I mean I think most of my scenes were all with Isla Fisher weren't they didn't I just come in and it was kind of weird. I, I think I did two weeks of work, got married, and then left. Jeff, right? Jeff, somebody, was my character, I'm pretty sure. Um, which is funny. I don't think I look like a Jeff. And they spelled it G-E-O-F-F, -F, I think. I think I look a little bit like a J-E-F-F, -F, but not a G-E-O-F. But who does? Anyway, um... What else did you ask me about? You wanted to know about Rake. Rake was cool. I got to work with Rowan Woods, one of my all-time favorite directors. He did a film called Little Fish that I was in in Australia with Kate Blanchett and Sam Neill and Hugo Weaving. Just one of the best experiences of my career, I think. And uh, I just love that man. So, um, and that was fun. Uh, I love that show. Uh, you want to know about Everest? Everest was, Everest was probably the coolest film I worked on in terms of um, the camaraderie. You know, we were all put in these really extreme settings in order to make the movie authentically we had to do some of the shooting up on a mountain in Italy and it was freezing we had storms and it was 20 below some days and uh that experience it just sort of brought the cast together in a way that uh you don't always get um and, it, and just an amazing group of people I mean so many very talented good people funny people um so yeah, I loved that movie. I loved that movie very much. Uh, we shot in Rome, so that was cool. We had a month in Rome, which was so beautiful. And we were in London for six weeks. And uh, But it was brutal. It was hard. The hardest thing about that movie was shooting the stuff at the very, when we get to the summit and all that stuff, a lot of the, the stuff at the high, high mountain stuff was done in a, in a studio with fake snow. Um, and these giant airplane propellers that would blow the, the little bits of fake snow, uh, and they would, if you open your mouth to say a line, it would, the, 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 the plastic snow would just go straight into your lungs, which, you know, not, not good. Um, so hopefully I won't get sick from that, but, uh, no, I'm joking. I didn't really go in my lungs, but definitely in the back of the throat. So, uh, but that was cool. And strangers, um, Strangers Pray at Night? Is that what you mean? Or oh, you mean Strangers like the first show I ever did? Maybe that's what you meant. I don't know. The first show I ever did in New Zealand was called Strangers. But you maybe you meant the film Strangers Pray at Night. Anyway, the film that I did was 
that was pretty hard. That was we shot that in Kentucky and it was pretty much all night shoots, which is just I'm not a big fan of that. I used to love it when I was a kid. Now I just like ugh, you know, just screws with your rhythm and getting up at four in the afternoon and going to work and coming home at seven in the morning. I, I don't really love that. Um, but if you're talking about Strangers, my TV show that I did when I was a kid, I loved it. It was the first thing I'd ever done. I didn't have a clue what I was doing, but I just had a ton of fun. It was super exciting. So anyway, mate, I hope that covers all the bases. I hope you